Hey guys, I'm Sides here. Welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. First of all, um, Armored Armor 2, you'll have to tell me if uh, the quality is any better. I've just basically full screened the game, see if it's any better. You can, I don't know if things are probably smaller, but I don't know whether it's clearer, so um, you have to tell me how it is. It might just be more and still poor quality, I don't know. A um, few changes. Basically, I've um, extended my house a little further upwards so that uh, Steezum has a room. I've put little cool coloured banners in. I've got three floors up here. I've built uh, wooden mannequins and I've got jungle armour, silver armour, bronze armour, um, shadow armour, I think, iron armour, and all gold armour apart from the helmet. I haven't captured enough, uh, gathered enough gold. Um, I've got a whole bunch of statues up here. I was looking around, loads of statues, I knocked them down. So this is like my little statue display case. Got windows in the background. I've got a new little corruption area down here. And some of the items I'm using now are actually pretty cool. This here, this thing with the red top, is a tinkering table, which I got from the little goblin goblin dude. And what you can do, you can actually combine some of your accessories. So I've got a, an obsidian horseshoe, which is an obsidian skull with a lucky horseshoe. I've got spectre boots, which are my Hermes boots and the rocket boots, all in one. I've got a cloud in a balloon, which is a cloud in a bottle, and the lucky balloon, and I've got my feral claws. And they've all been tweaked, um, reforged with uh, this guy up here, which gives them these like extra bonuses and things. And some of my weapons up here have actually got bonuses as well. I think the best ones on this one are the Unreal Molten Fury. It's got all of those um, bonuses on it. 14% damage, 12% speed, 5% critical strike, 10% velocity, and 15% knockback. Um, so... Yeah, things are things are pretty pretty good, pretty good. And I'm gonna kill this rabbit for no apparent reason. There we go. Um, today, I'm going to head off to the east. Sun sets in this side, so it's, this should be the west. And I'm desperately trying to get like my Hermes boots to activate without having to run for too much. There we go. So I can just get some speed up. Oh, never mind. Um, I'm going to take on a boss. Um, the only boss that uh, has yet to be taken out by me in this direction is Skeletron. So I'm going to take him out. I don't know what tactics to use. I think I'm just going to go for his hands first and then um, take out his head. I think I'm going to use the fiery longsword, the fiery whatever that thing's called my pointy fiery greatsword which I've got right now so you can see that my spectre boots allow me to double jump and they act as some pretty cool rocket boots um, I've got a negation from fall damage and I can like walk on hot um, stones or blocks thanks to my obsidian horseshoe and I can't remember what the other you little bugger of a vulture. Gotcha. But it's ever so handy being able to combine them because now you can like so technically like I've got I think like how many would it be? Like eight or seven or eight um, accessories in five slots which is amazingly handy and I cannot believe how far away this place is. Here we go. This is the place. So um Probably would have been a good idea to bring some torches with me, but I didn't do that. Uh, just to make sure, I'm just going to clear a little bit of space here. Let's quickly flatten this little area. Some copper there, which I'm not interested in anymore. No idea. I've got a stack of 99 copper in a chest back at my house. So I have no idea what I'd use copper for anymore. Um, maybe chandeliers or something. So I'm just going to build a quick little house here if this guy doesn't get in the way, which he probably will. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that guy was in the way. So if I build this up like this, four high, and then bring this over here, like so, and then put uh, a wooden wall in the background to background it all up. And think about it, I do actually need um, torches, so I might have to go cut down a tree, grab some torches and stuff. 
But basically what I'm doing is I'm just quickly setting up a spawn point here. I'm pretty sure I need to put lights in for it to count and stuff. So I can still open this door. Oh, no, spawn, stop, spawn point set, so I don't need lights in there. So that's fine. Um, ideally I'd have needed torches just to light up this area so that I can see what I'm doing. It's going to collect whatever's in these pots. I'm not going to go in the dungeon yet because I will get attacked by the Skeletron head. So now all that remains for me to do is to wait around until night time then we can activate my next boss. So I guess I'll, I'll see you in a bit when it's a bit later on. Um, just before I go, let's just talk to this old man. Come back at night if you wish to enter. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a couple of torches anyway, because I've got one piece of gel, so that might get me just a torch or two. So, or three torches. There we go. So I'm just going to throw down these three torches over here. Oh, hello. Who are you? You're a goblin scout. You're a dead goblin scout. So let's just throw these down here. One, two, uh, three. You can combine um, torches with gems now to make wonderfully colourful torches, which is pretty cool. And I think my lighting's changed, but um, oh well. So I'll see you in a moment when night time falls, then the uh, the music changes, and um, we'll get on with this. So I'll see you in a moment. So the music has changed. There's a pinky over there. So if you don't know what a pinky is, it's like a tiny pink slime with like 150 health. It's very difficult to hit. Um, and it's just killed a rabbit. Let's get revenge on the rabbit. There's a falling star. There's a couple of scalpless zombies. And I'm just about to go get ready to talk to the old man. So here we go. Let's talk to the old man. Hello. Stranger, do you possess the strength to defeat my master? Talk to him about the curse. And whoa, Skeletron gets summoned. Right, so I've figured I'm going to try and do the most of this fight. Oh god, if I can get away from his hands up here, I think it might be a little bit easier. So basically, yeah, I'm thinking of taking out his hands first. That's That attack is the one you want to dodge. You want to dodge his head. The head can do a lot of damage. But I'm going to try and take out his hands first. His hands have a thousand health. So, uh, just a couple of hits and uh, they should be down. Hear more thingies. So he, he's like slapping me, slapping me about right now. I've got the time to go and get this fallen star, so why not? There we go. Let's keep going at his hands like this. Get rid of his hands because they're just annoying. They slap you. And when you hear his roar, get ready to dodge his head. There we go. So his hands are out of the way. Now I've got Mini Shark, which I bought from the. Um, the gun guy for I think 50 gold coins or something and I've got like 30 platinum coins from somewhere so no worries about that so we're gonna take out take down Skeletron's head pretty pretty flipping quick with this thing plus it's got some nice quite nice reforges on it so basically just stay out of his head's way whilst it's spinning towards you because I do believe it can do a lot of damage when it's spinning around basically it's gonna keep up the attack it's nearly dead and um, I think the idea of this is that after we've defeated him, we should be free to go into into the dungeon without being attacked by him. Probably should have shown off what happens if you go into the dungeon without killing him, but uh, you can find that out for yourself by wandering into a dungeon without killing him. And there we go. That's Skeletron pretty deaded. Quite a cool little thing there. So there's a demon eye spawned in here. I'm, there's a cool little blue light up there as well. So I'm going to stick my light buff back on, get this sword out and uh, head into the dungeon, see what we can see. There's a couple of like potions and things which I might be grabbing. Mana potions, books. I think I can make a bookcase if I get these books. So, I collect a whole bunch of books from down here, and eventually we should see see some new mob types down here somewhere. Maybe some cool chests or something would be quite nice. So there's spikes on the wall there. We can 
grab a couple of those I'm pretty sure as well if we really wanted to they're going to be a big hindrance when we get further down there because we're going to be bouncing off them and stuff so you still got pots usual loot in pots just coins and things that looks like a health potion up there so I might grab that like so let's keep heading deeper Oh, there's spikes there, I didn't see those. So now we've got these, whatever those guys are, what are these guys? Angry Bones. So they're like skeletons, underground skeletons, but they're angry, I'm guessing, from the name. Okay, hi guys, sorry about that, I have to go to the doctor to get some injections for me holiday. So heading down here, it looks like we've got this big spiky ball thing, which you can't do much about. Got Mother Slime down there. Pretty sure, oh god, who's this? A dark caster. Um, pretty sure you can't do anything about the spikes apart from dodge them, so I'm going to do that. So that whatever slime kind of slime that was had a key of some sorts, of some description. Um, got spikes here, little chest. What we got in the chest? Angel statue. Oops, no, don't want to deposit things. Take it all again. Um, got another pot up here and another pot over there. So you kind of get the idea of how this place is going to be laid out now. What kind of slime is this? Oh, a dungeon slime. Cool. There's another key. So these keys are actually something that were implemented in a, a later version. Oh god, this spiked ball just appeared. Who's this? Oh, it's a, a bound mechanic. Hello. Thanks. I was. It was just a matter of time before I ended up like the rest of the skeletons down here. This is a mechanic. They've got all the switches and all this wire stuff which I'm not too interested in, so they'll potter off on the way to where I live, I'm assuming, try and move in, <laughs> as they do. Yeah, so the keys I've picked up won't actually do anything until I hit a dungeon that's like in a new area, so there shouldn't be any locked chests in this dungeon, with any luck anyway. Um, I shouldn't, no, I don't think there will be, because, yeah, dungeons are a new thing. And one thing I'd like to point out is that, um, I've got my fiery greatsword equipped right now. If I hold shift, left shift, then I can quickly pull out my axe to knock out these potions. And there's another dark caster, so just have to watch out for him. There we go. So hopefully he'll follow me down here and I can take care of him down here. Come here. Okay, you're on the spikes. That's cheating, friend. Okay. Only took a little bit of damage there. A um, bunch of coins from the pot I just knocked out. So I'm not entirely sure how deep this goes to be perfectly honest. Oh god, what's that? There's a huge lava pit over there. Okay, these angry bones can get through these doors. What have we got in here? We've got a, an enchanted bow. Should I go right or left? Okay, let's go left because there's a skeleton guy over there. Um, these skeleton guys you might notice are dropping bones, which I think I can use to craft stuff. And there's you've got these Cursed skulls, they're fairly easy to kill. Um, hang on. Couldn't use my sword for a moment there. That was some other kind of curse. So it's actually quite handy me picking up all these keys because then I find a dungeon in, in like a, a new world that I generate or whatever. I'll be able to bust open. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? Okay, that, that's a bit crazy. So, oh god, I've um, unleashed something here kinds of crazy guys here. Oh god, Dark Caster, whatever his name is. So uh, let's continue going down here I suppose. So there's a whole bunch more stuff over there. Another Angry Bones, another spinning what's it thing. Try and dodge this if I can. There we go, that was fairly well done. So there's another chest over here. Let's grab this potion first. Ow! Ow! Go away! Um, it's in here. Oh, magic missile. I'll show that off in a bit, I think. I won't show it off down here. Let's uh, see if I can Ooh, go on. sort out all these guys first without me dying. Okay, so this door's open already, so let's head this way. I don't want to get too lost. I've already taken a lot of detours, so I'm probably going to get lost fairly soon. Um, dodge this spiky ball. What have we got in here? Another magic mirror. Ow. Oh my god, there's stuff everywhere in here. Um, let's head up there if I can dodge that spiky ball thing. Another chest. Um, I want to quickly try and loot this thing. 
Uh, it's got another band of regeneration, I think that was. Oh, I'm gonna get. Oh, nearly got hit by that spiky ball as well. So this skeleton thing, get rid of that cursed skull. Okay, I'm getting hit pretty badly by everything around here now. I think the newly generated dungeons also have like traps in them, so that's something else you'd have to watch out for um, around these places. Oh, in oh, newer maps. Go away, big boned. Don't care how big boned you are. You're going down, little friend. So I'm kind of running out of time, but to be perfectly honest, I'm enjoying running around in this little little, little place here. I'm interested to see if I can get some really cool loot. Nothing really cool yet, but um, I suppose that uh, staff thing I picked up is pretty cool. So it looks like we're you know pretty much right down to the bottom of the map now, so there can't be too much more to do. Got some more Hermes boots there, which I can't pick up. Not too fussed about that. So we've got heart piece as well. There's just pots everywhere. So I'm kind of running out of inventory space now, so it might be a good idea to call it a day, call it a video. My spawn is set at the top of this place, so I can come back fairly easily. Let's just check out this chest before I go. Um, just another magic mirror. Okay. And uh, two cursed skulls. Duly taken care of. So next video be heading back down into this dungeon. I can't set my spawn point down here. Um, and we'll see what other kind of loot we can find. And stuff like that. So if you're doing a dungeon as well, good luck with it. I've got 99 bones already. Can't remember what I can do with them. Herald the Clothier has arrived apparently. That's cool. So I've got another little dude at my house. We'll see those once I've finished going through all of these dungeons and stuff. I really ought to stop doing this because I cannot pick up any more items. But there's just so many pots and it's so satisfying just smashing them all. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Next video, more dungeons. We'll see what else this place has got to offer. And I'll see you then. So until then, take care. See you soon.